Now on our next story, an Accra High Court has granted a request by the NDC's James Jachikwesen to be allowed to miss court proceedings on Friday. This will give him room to embark on his final round of campaigning ahead of Tuesday's by-election. His legal team has in the last few days made a strong case for the suspension of the trial, insisting the poll is a national assignment. Legal Affairs correspondent Joseph Akable reports. The legal arguments on Wednesday centered mainly around some comments that the Attorney General had made, which the lawyers of Mr. Kuisin considered to be inappropriate, and they put that before the court. The AG defended himself and insisted that those comments he made were within law. At the court, he had asked the court to actually strike out some documents that had been presented, making reference to those statements, but the court disagreed and admitted them, after which it heard arguments on whether or not it should put the case on hold. And the court took the view that it was going to deliver its ruling on that particular matter on June 23. A request was made by Mr. Chikata that Mr. Kuisin be allowed to excuse himself on that particular day. Another request that the court also granted. And so the court will be sitting on June 23 to deliver its ruling in respect of whether the trial should be put on hold. But the NDC's legal directorate, led by Ibrahim Amaliba, insists that they believe that the AG is conducting himself in a manner that is inconsistent with the law. On to 23rd, which means that tomorrow we are not coming to court, but on the 23rd, the court, in its own wisdom, dispense of his presence in court, which means that effectively he is supposed to come after the elections. And so clearly, we want to be thankful to the court, the judge, and to say that we are most grateful for the ruling given to us today because we have achieved what we wanted to achieve. You notice that Mr. Chikata's supplementary affidavit was supposed to give to the court a plethora of conduct that the Attorney General has displayed. Which conduct does not sit well with our legal profession? And you notice that he quoted the Legal Profession Act, which does not allow for comments such as what the Attorney General engaged in. And so the Attorney General's conduct was an issue before the court. And uh, I'm happy the senior Charles Jukata took him to the cleaners. Deputy Attorney General Alfred Chua strongly disagrees with this particular view. Uh, the court adjourned the matter to the 23rd. And when it comes to adjournment, it is the duty of the court to determine when it's convenient to hear a matter. And the court also made an order dispensing with the presence of our attendance of the accused person. The judge has made an order. We are bound by the orders of the court. On the 23rd, we'll be in court. And it's sending a very dangerous precedent that we can use any means to frustrate processes. But we are cool with it. We'll be back on Friday. Then we'll come back and hear the matter. I mean, in terms of the comments that happen in court today, it appears they have some serious issues with the conduct of the Attorney General. I mean, how is the office treating these allegations of prejudice that is being leveled against the AG? They've, they've never laid any basis. There's nothing to hold on to. It's, it's been made out of frustration and nothing else. The AG has done absolutely nothing wrong. His comments have been on point. And if they think something on top has, has been uh, done by the AG, they know what to do. One individual who had wanted to lead the opposition in D.C. as his flag bearer, Kojo Bonsu, was here to support uh, Mr. Kwesin. And he says what is happening in the court is setting a bad precedent. I think um, this is totally unfair. And we're going through the rules of the law. Um, we can't be coming here daily as the man is campaigning. Anyway, let's see what happens on Friday. And I think the judge did very well said we should just rest and come in on Friday. And I think um, we are watching. It's, you see, it's precedent that they are trying to set. And it's going to be a problem in this country. But I believe that justice must prevail. So the case is back in court on June 23. And Mr. Kwesin believes it offers him the opportunity to go about with his campaign. Kwesin, are you satisfied with the outcome? Well, I mean... It's, it's already been expressed, so I'm not going to comment further. But you are ready to get He's onto the campaign the grounds now? I'm, I'm leaving court and going right down to the grounds, Thank yes. You. I mean, so far, in terms of how it's going, you are confident that you are going to win the seat once again? already won. He's going to win. He's going to win. For joining us from the Law Courts Complex, my name is Joseph Akable.